Considering an AMD Ryzen for your new rig, our X570 motherboards have the features you need. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Rick, your host today on MSI Procast. Today we'll be showing you our two new X570 motherboards, the MPG X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi and X570 Gaming Pro Carbon Wi-Fi. Our Gaming Edge series is more of an entry-level solution for Intel and AMD, and our Pro Carbon is our mid-range motherboard line for both Intel's Z390 and AMD's X570 chipsets. When building a new PC, the first thing you need to choose will be your brand of CPU. Are you going with AMD with the AM4 socket or Intel Z390 with the LGA1151 socket? No matter what you decide, the latest generation of processors have lots of power, and AMD's recently released Ryzen 3000 line continues with excellent performance. So let's check out these X570 motherboards, the two latest additions to our lineup. Both of these boards are capable at overclocking, and if that's what you're going for, we've beefed up the X570 Pro Carbon, equipping it with a more robust VRM solution, which improves the stability of higher overclocks. Perfect for gaming and content creation, let's see what these motherboards have to offer. First up is the MPG X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. This board has dual PCIe slots, the top with steel armor, providing extra strength for holding onto the largest video cards. The Edge can handle up to 128 gigs of memory, and DDR4 Boost allows for enabling XMP for your RAM, and overclocking up to 4400 MHz. This board has a digital power system integrated controller for smooth voltage to your CPU. At the top, these VRMs have their own heatsink for cooling, and the main extended heatsink is integrated into the rear I.O. shield, which helps to keep the VRMs cool. The X570 chipset is equipped with our Zero Frozer Tech, which dynamically adjusts the patented dual ball bearing fan speed under load and at low temperatures, allowing the fan to stop completely. Our Lightning PCIe Gen 4 solution provides the fastest transfer speeds for the dual onboard M.2 slots, the top equipped with our signature M.2 Shield Frozer, which helps to cool your system drive. The board also features rear Mystic Light software controlled LEDs for a lighting accent in your case. For the build, we went with our MSI MPG Gungnir 100D tempered glass case, which has lots of room. We chose an AMD R5 3600 6-core 3.6GHz CPU, and to cool that, the stock Wraith Stealth cooler bundled with the CPU. For graphics, we're going with an MSI Radeon RX 5700 Mech OC 8GB, a solid pick for this build level, able to get excellent 1080p and great 1440p gaming performance. For memory, we have two sticks of Corsair Vengeance LPX 8 gig at 2400 MHz for 16 gigs total. And for our M.2 system drive is a Corsair MP500 480 gig SSD for snappy windows and game loading times. And power is provided by a Cooler Master V650 Gold Unit. So this X570 Gaming Edge setup is good for gaming with a great price to performance ratio with Wi-Fi for an added bonus. Both our X570 Gaming Edge and Gaming Pro Carbon are ATX sized motherboards, and when choosing a case, it's important to choose one that can fit your board, as MATX cases will be too small. Our Gungnir and Secure cases both handle ATX size. Dual PCIe slots are great for Twitch or game streaming, as a lower slot can be used for a capture card, a 10 gigabit network card, or even a second graphics card in Crossfire for AMD. Both boards come with an HDMI 1.4 port to get your system online and running faster, to work with AMD CPU integrated graphics. Choosing a power supply to fit your needs is important too. If you're doing any overclocking or have a beefy graphics card, then a newer 750 to 850 watt supply will better handle those demands. And some general tips, always connect and install components with your power supply unplugged and refer to our handy quick setup section in the manual for questions about where to plug in or hook up the wires, and especially the best slots to use for two sticks of DDR4 RAM to get the most performance possible from dual channel memory. Next, we have the MPG X570 Gaming Pro Carbon, our mid-tier line with extra functionality. These dual lightning Gen 4 PCIe slots are both equipped with steel armor for strength, all surrounded by a motherboard shroud, which serves a dual purpose, 
built into the shroud of the two M.2 Frozer heatsinks, covering those 64 gig a second Gen 4 connectors at the top and bottom to keep those NVMe drives cool. Zero Frozer is on this X570 chip also, featuring a 45 millimeter fan to keep it all cool with balanced and performance mode profiles. Connecting power to the core boost and CPU is an 8 plus 4 connector, providing better stability when OCing. Digital Power IC controls the 10 to 1 VRM design, which is a step up, providing more stability over more VRMs to handle higher overclocks. On the left side, heat is dissipated with a large heatsink integrated into the rear I.O. shield, with some LED accents at the top. The right side of the board has LEDs running all the way down, which is adjustable in Mystic Light. And our Dragon Center software gives you control over your light setup, with several different options to tailor your RGB to suit your preference. This setup is done in our Gungnir 100 tempered glass case with accented front panel. For this build, we went with an AMD R7 3700X 8-core 3.6 GHz CPU, cooled by Cooler Master's Master Liquid ML240R RGB 240mm AIO with a radiator installed up top. Graphics are handled by an MSI Radeon RX 5700 XT Gaming X 8 gig which is really capable of 1440p gaming at ultra settings for most games and some pretty great gaming at 4K. For DDR4, we have four sticks of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 8 gig at 2666 MHz, totaling 32 gigs. And for the system M.2 drive, a Western Digital SN750 NVMe 500 gig SSD. All powered by a Cooler Master Gold V750 PSU with a little higher wattage for more overclocking and GPU power draw headroom. This MPG X570 Gaming Pro Carbon Wi-Fi setup is very capable for streaming and handling the latest AAA games with Wi-Fi connectivity and good looks thanks to its Mystic Light RGB capabilities. Now we want to turn this over to you. What features are you most excited about? And what are you looking for when making your motherboard decision? And if you have a setup, we'd love to hear about it down in the comments. Hit that like button if this overview was useful. And don't forget to subscribe to MSI Gaming for the latest news. Thanks for joining us today, and happy gaming. See you all in the next episode.
If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.